My name is Danielle, and I wanted to be part of this experience because I felt like it was important to talk about my journey from being in an abusive relationship and suffering from post-traumatic stress syndrome and all of the struggles that come along with it, and then how far I've come since I was in that relationship and all of the ways that I've used what happened to me to empower myself and empower other women and try to just learn from it and do all I can to keep other people from having to suffer the way that I did. At a certain point, I realized that um, it was possible that my life was in danger and that my children were witnessing me and the rest of our family deal with some really awful things like being verbally abused um, all the way to being punched in the face in front of my kids and it got bad enough where strangers were calling the police because they were seeing me being victimized in public <clears throat> and luckily one day I was brave enough to actually follow through and file a police report and my abuser did get arrested and didn't go to jail and that started a long process of recovering from the kind of life where you have no freedom, no control, you don't trust yourself, you don't trust anyone who tells you they love you. Um, I didn't want to be that person anymore and I didn't want my kids to think that that's what love was. So I made it a point to start doing everything I could as far as group counseling, um, private psychotherapy, um, all the way to learning self-defense. I started taking karate and it went from just needing to know how to defend myself if someone ever did try to attack me to finding a whole another side of myself that I didn't realize existed, a fighter that became strong enough to fight back against things that other people would normally turn and run from. So I took that and I ended up getting my black belt and I started competing on a national base and um, proving that I, I was strong and I could fight and that I had my control and my confidence back and trying to set an example for other women who have suffered the way that I have who felt like they had nothing to live for and felt like someone had stolen their identity and all of their control and all of their power and now I make it a point to find as many powerful moments and as many types of self-control that I can demonstrate for myself and my children and just any woman who would feel like they were in a point in their lives where there was no hope and, and they didn't know how they would ever survive being victimized the way that, that a lot of women are being victimized. And I hope I stand as an example for those women that there is life after abuse. And now my life is great. I have a, a loving family and a very healthy relationship and I own my own business. And um, I'm somebody six years later that I never imagined would be possible to be after going through what I went through at that point in my life. Being part of an experience like this is a reminder that we all have something we're recovering from and that we can all learn from each other's struggles and just when you feel like your issues are big and difficult, you see other people who have more difficult struggles and um, it helps me feel lucky to, to be where I am and, um, and be able to speak about the things that I do without having to deal with it so much right now and that's why I wanted to be part of this group and be part of a demonstration that there is recovery um, in some form I don't think you ever fully heal from being abused but I wanted to show that there is um, something positive to come out of that kind of negative experience and I can still smile and be proud of myself today and I'm proud to be part of a group of people that want to show everyone that there's lots of ways to struggle but a lot more ways to survive.